Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find out rank of a matrix. Rank actually very helpful in multiple scenario. Like uh, it will tell you how many solution for a system exist or there is no solution. There are other uh, uses of rank as well. So uh, in this one, we will see how to find out a rank. First of all, we need to take a matrix. So the matrix I am taking is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, 8, 9. So when we say rank, rank is actually number of independent columns. Now what is the meaning of independent column? So let me take a simple example. Let's say I am having this matrix 1, 2, 2, 4. Now as you can see this column is simply twice of column 1. Okay. So the thing is that if a column is a multiple of another column. So that column you cannot consider as independent. Okay. And if you look at this column, this is not a multiple of any column. Okay, so in this case, this is a independent column, but this column is dependent. So in a matrix, rank actually tells you how many columns are independent. Let me take one more example. One, two, three, two, three. 4 and 3, 5, 7. So in this matrix, as you can see, this column is not multiple of this one. If you multiply this column with 2, you will get 2, 4, 6. This is different. So we start from here. This is not dependent. So we will write independent. This is also independent. But here if you look at this column and you can clearly see this column is simply addition of these two columns. Okay. So this is dependent. So for dependency you can you need to see if a column is a multiple of another column or if a column is a combination of other columns in the same matrix. So this column is a combination of these two columns so let's say this is c1 column this is c2 column so this is simply c1 plus c2 okay so this is the one method to find out rank so rank in this case rank is 1 in this case rank is 2 but what we are going to do we are going to follow gaussian elimination method and we are going to find out rank so we need to convert this matrix in a form like this where every element in this side has to be zero and then after converting this matrix into this form we need to count these element so you need to look for non zero diagonal element after performing this elimination process so this number is actually rank okay so let me show you the process one two three four five six seven eight nine so in order to make this as zero what we will do we will multiply r1 with 4 and subtract it from r2 so what we will get 1 2 3 here we will get 0 and here we will get minus 3 here we will get minus 6 Okay, 
now we need to convert these two elements zero so in order to make this element zero if you multiply first row with by seven and just subtract that from this row so seven minus seven will be zero so here i can write r3 minus 7 r1 1 2 3 0 minus 3 minus 6 0 and here we will get minus 6 because 7 if you multiply 7 with 2 14 you will get and when you subtract 14 from 8 you will get minus 6 and here you will get minus 12 now we need to make this element also as 0 so for that purpose r1 cannot be used if you use r1 if you perform addition or subtraction anything this element again become non-zero and we don't want that so this time we will use r2 so what we will do r3 minus 2 r2 0 minus 3 minus 6 so in this case everything will become zero now i have uh, told you in the beginning after converting this matrix in this form which is known as row ashland form you need to count diagonal element which are non zero so first non zero second non zero this is non this is is zero and these element actually also known as pivot element so the rank of this matrix is 2 or in other one we can other word we can say number of pivot elements so now uh, let me uh, take the example the simpler one we have taken previously 1 2 4 8 so the conversion process I need to apply here so the first conversion I need to make this one as 0 so what I will do r2 minus 2 r1 and what you will get 1 4 0 0 so if you found non zero element which lies on diagonal so there is only one non zero diagonal element so rank of this matrix is one so this is the way to find out rank of a matrix thank you very much for watching